What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am the Super Genki. So glad to have you here today. And what are we going to be talking about today? Philosophy. But I don't know who this Phil guy is. So you know, let's get rid of the Phil and let's put in what we do know, which is the Genki. So it's now the Genki philosophy. And in today's first Genki philosophy update, I'd like to highlight a point that I have been struggling to really apply in my daily life. Be water, my friend. Bruce Lee had a famous quote where he said, I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. I think that water is an abstract concept. Now, if we have water in reality, it's H2O. We have some hydrogen, we have some oxygen, and we have a tube, right? These concepts make up this substance called water, and water is such a necessary part of life. Like thinking is, thinking is so, so, so important for us to put our ideas into action because we have to make them seem more realistic. So what does he mean by be water? He means like become the abstract concept, become shapeless, become mindless, because when you become these things, you can focus. You see, water is that abstract concept, and success is also an abstract concept in everyone's mind because we all want to have a good life and we all want to feel good about ourselves. But the problem with success is that, usually speaking, we're looking at other people's forms of success, other people's standards of success, likes, follows, subscribers, viewers, donators, all these different things that tell us, oh, we need this to be successful, I need that to be successful, but we don't question what do we think success is because this question this idea of what we think success is i tend to think that it becomes the object we put water into and bruce lee goes on to say this now you put water into a cup it becomes the cup you put water into a bottle it becomes the bottle you, you put water into a cup it becomes the cup you put water into a bottle it becomes the bottle Whatever you put your idea of success into, it becomes that. But when it's not your own idea, when it's someone else's idea of success, you might not feel happy about it, even if you attain that success, because humans are prior to always want more, more, and more, and more, and more. Say, for example, I want to change the world, but do I really want to change the world, or do I really just want to feel like I'm trying to change the world? Because on one hand, Changing the world means I have to get followers, I have to get likes, I have to get media exposure. I have to get so many different things that I'm not necessarily good at. But that idea creates a cup for me that's just too big for my idea of success. Because what I really want, what I really, really, really want, is just to feel like I'm trying my hardest to change the world. Changing the world, I don't know if it can happen, but I really want to try. And I want to feel like I want to try. And that's the true idea of success I want. That's the true idea of success I have, but I'm not acting upon that idea. And that's where the biggest problem in my journey comes from. In the fact and matter, I'm not acting how I really want to be perceived. I'm not acting out my real ideas of success. And when you're on your own journey, if you don't define what your real ideas of success are, then you're going to be forever, forever, forever chasing after this image that's not your own. And even if you do achieve it, you're just going to be looking to what's next. And it's just a never, never, never ending cycle. And this is what leads people to get burnt out. This is what leads people to lose hope. This is what leads people to lose identity. And I don't want that to happen to you because it's happened to me and it's just crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Let's get back to Bruce Lee. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Now water can flow and water can crash. Become water, my friends. I love how we end it on that like super solid smile. Point is that our ideas are going to follow suit with how we think about them, how we act towards them, what we believe about them. And that's why we have to look to define these things for ourselves. We have to become critical thinkers in our own minds so that we can make the future the way that we want it to be. How we want to live. How do we want to share ourselves? What side do we want people to see? Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of questions. But if we don't answer them for ourselves, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Anyway, that is the first bit of the Genki philosophy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all learned something. I hope that you got something along for your journey. I'm Super Genki. Glad you're all here. I'll see you in the next one. 
Bye-bye.